On the drive here on hole number 3, option 1, we are starting with our APOC at P3 Max Rest. This is an APOC 6 plus play. And once we have done that, if you do have a top spin boost ball that you start with, then you can set spins with that. Or you swap to the top spin boost ball and then set the spins. Max top spin plus 3 top spin boost for APOC 8, 3.1 top spin boost for APOC 7, and 4 top spin boost for APOC 6. Always half a bar of right spin. This is the do nothing angle, meaning we're not going to pull back anything. In the more tailwind angle, we are going to pull back a little bit to make sure that we do get the bounce that we want. One ball of right curl, try to hit perfect, and it's going to be more or less always a slow needle. The intention here now is to get the glitch roll, which has been tested with many different wind angle variations uh, and has still not been getting any dead bounces here, which is a positive sign, obviously. We want to be somewhere between 462 and 475 yards. For Apocalypse level 7 users, if you do not have any top spin boost 4 ball or want to play with a top spin boost 3 ball, do not push up anything because pushing up is going to make you have a flatter bounce. So it's going to be a problem in that sense. What I recommend in that case is to stay with the same type of uh, play and then just accept the fact that you're gonna be a little bit shorter than what we want and then you have to deal with the second shot from there. On the second shot what we are going to do is that we're gonna use the ball guideline before spin together with the blue ring as my reference there to the left so it's gonna be blue ring to the left by the rough with the second bounce to be just above the bunker now I don't really know what's happening here in the replay um, but that's gonna be our focus point and we're gonna get back to that at the end here of the replay as well so once we do get there we are going to apply whatever top spin that gets the ball guideline and and together with the one left spin to get the ball guideline kind of like halfway into the fairway pad like that. For those that do play with cat 7 and cat 8 can make note of it always going to be around all but one regular top spin bar. Cat 5 and cat 6 is going to most likely have to use some top spin boost to get there. Adjust 100% slider plus 100% slider minus 5% elevation P5 numbers from plus 12 and plus 13. 0.8 ball of left curl with circle drop over power. We get to the pad and from here we do have a wedge. With the wedge, to uh, uh, we're gonna do an EB school uh, version here, and it's gonna be around the mid club always, so 50% slider approx. Bottom of the white ring to be where the um, uh, fringe meets uh, the fairway, ball guideline through the hole, and then we will be applying whatever spins that gets the ball guideline to be through the hole, but half a green square through, because it's very easy otherwise to fall short because we're bouncing on up hill position plus 20 percent elevation p5 numbers uh, eb school version and then we're gonna center the ball hit perfect and this shall be a very good chance for an eagle drop but be focused because obviously would be sad after doing two good shots than to miss out on a short wedge like this scan the qr code here on the screen or go directly to patreon.com slash golf clash tommy for the best guys on the market